Hey everybody, thank you for joining me for another reading. I put this reading out earlier, but you all, I was having sound difficulties. Um, so I think I got them fixed now. Uh, I was mentioning in that first video, I wanted to thank you all for being a part of my channel. And if you are new, thank you so much for my regular supporters and everyone else. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I appreciate you. We're still young, but we're growing. Okay. So the reading I want to put out today is a look into the life of your soulmate, whether you've met this person before, whether you haven't met this person before, uh, in, in a relationship with this person, you all are no longer together or what, something brand new or whatever, okay? But first, I wanted to mention a sale I have going on right now. I have a 30-minute uh, three-question reading, uh, and that's for $40, and it will be a question about your life. Um, love. Those are two, two of the things I'm going to focus on in the reading is life and love. And then the third question will be one question of your choice. Please let it be in within reason. And please, when you ask questions, don't ask me two and three part questions. Don't ask me like, is John coming back to me? That's one question. And then you'll say, well, if he comes back, will it work out? There's two questions or something like that. So just make sure that third question is very, very specific. One question only, okay? And the other option, and that's $40 for those three questions. It's a 30-minute reading. Very in-depth. My readings are very, very in-depth. I don't just say yes or no or something. I really, really break down the energy. And the next one is a 40 as a an hour reading, and that's $75. And that 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 could be love, life, or anything else that I pick up on. Okay. So if you're interested, the information will be in the, the description below, you'll also have information on how to contact me, both of my email addresses, PayPal information, Cash App information. And if you make a payment, whether it's through PayPal or Cash App, please, please remember to, to send me an email to verify your email address. And if you particularly have Cash App and you send me that payment, nine times out of ten, I don't get an email address, so I can't do the reading for you anyway. So especially, no matter what style or however you choose to pay me, pay for the reading, make sure you email me, okay, to confirm, okay? All right, you all, so I'm going to get started on this reading. I want to thank you all. This is timeless and collective, so whenever you see it, I hope it resonates, okay? Uh, look into the life of your soulmate, whether you know this person or not, okay? Spirit guys and angels, give me clear messages for the collective when it comes to their soulmate. What is in it for the soulmate right now? What's going on in their life? This is a look into the life of your soulmate. Ooh, something's ended. We have the death card. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Endings and beginnings. We got the four of wands here, though. Okay. Something has ended in this person's life. Your soulmate. What ended in this person's life? Or what needed to change in this person's life? Six of Swords. There, there's definitely an ending because they're leaving. And this is probably why they're headed to a new path. It's like a part of their life is over with. And they know that they need to make some necessary changes to move forward, to move to happiness. Because we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Four of Wands. Kind of like they're following the Yellow Brick Road to happiness. Your person is following the Yellow Brick, brick Road to happiness. Okay. What's going on for your person here? You have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person is allowing themselves. This person is no longer letting and allowing um, grass to grow under their feet. They're pulling up, up rank. They're pulling up those, um, those, those roots that have kept them stuck in one place for a long period of time, and they're headed like they're headed west. They're headed toward happiness. They're headed toward six of cups. Maybe a redemption. Maybe they're headed for. Uh, fixing things with you, but they're definitely, definitely pulling out, uh, pulling out the things, pulling out, pulling the anchor out of the water and coming to find their true love. They're manifesting true love. They've been through some stuff. We got the death card. It's like maybe somebody left them, or maybe they left somebody. Okay, but whatever, whatever, somebody pulled up rank, pulled the anchor out the water, and they just bounced. Okay, and they know that this is an opportunity for them to start a new path. Okay, and they want happiness. They're, they're, they're like looking like I'm done with this situation. It's over with. Now that I've kind of like pulled myself out of the flowers and, and the rose bushes and the, and the things that have kept me stuck, the roots that have kept me grounded. Now that I'm done, I need to find me a queen. Or I need to find me a king. And they're praying to God. They're praying like, please send me the one that you have destined, that you have predestined for me to be with. They're manifesting and they're praying very, very hard. Um, they're manifesting you. 
we have the page of wands and we have the six of cups. You know, they know what they want. They want happiness. They want love. They want family. Okay. So something ended abruptly for this person. If, even if it wasn't abruptly, abrupt, something ended right away, immediately. Okay. Give me some more messages on what ended in this person's life for the collective here. Ooh, something happened. The tower card. Very, yeah, dark energy here. You know, some, they blew up at somebody. Somebody blew up at them. Whatever the situation was, it ended. And, and now that it's done, it's, this person probably cut that other issue out of their life, okay? Because they know that they were tired. It was dark. That's dark energy. They don't want this in their life anymore. They want a new path because we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. They want a happy home, okay? And they want their Empress, they want their chosen one, okay? Which is more than likely you, okay? If you're able to pick up on this reading, okay? Something kept this person back, but they know what they they know what they don't want in their lives anymore, okay? Got this nine of one, is, and, and they want somebody who can talk nice to them. Somebody who can really, really be be a beauty, kind of like be a lady, you know? And, and somebody who believes in God. I think that's very important to this person, okay? We got this Queen of Swords and this King of Swords energy. And both of you all knew that it was ending. So if this was a relationship for somebody from the past or your soulmate ended something with somebody, it was it was like, okay, I'm done. They they it's like they weren't getting along with each other and they know and they knew collectively, both of them knew that it was time to end this situation. So they both knew, okay, it's done. We're done. This is the death of us. It's over with. Okay. It's over with. Somebody did something or something happened to where you get the hell out of my house. Okay. And they left. Your, your person left. Okay. Whether they went by themselves or went with the child or whatever. But they left. And if this was a mutual decision. Um, this was a situation where it's been put off long enough. Let's just do it and get it over with. We're not meant to be with each other anyway. Okay. We're just going to end it. Okay. So this person, um, if you knew this person before, like when you were younger, it's like they still remember you. Like you grew up on the same block or something, that little girl from down the block or the girl from next door or something like that. This person never forgot you, whether you were in a relationship with, with, uh, with this person or not. You know, it's kind of like, wow, you know, um, maybe you may run into this person if you go back home because you, you, you are traveling somewhere out of, outside of this relationship. It's over with. You are traveling. OK, so you may be headed back home and you may see that that little filly down the block. You know, you may run into her at, at Walgreens or some store or a corner confectionery or something. Say, hey, you know, what's going on? You know, I haven't seen you since we was like 15 years old. What's going on? And we have some movement forward here. You know, if this is somebody back from your past who you had a crush on back in the day or something like that. OK. And then we have movement. Yeah, definitely. If this is a relationship from this, this beautiful filly who you used to see when you were younger, y'all have sent a cups. Ten of Cups, okay? So definitely he remembers how good you used to look when you were little, when you were young. But you're all a woman now. And he realized, like, hmm, can we get to know each other? Maybe hang out a little bit or something like this and, and just see what happens, you know? Because you want somebody, your person wants somebody who... Um, who stands up for themselves, who, 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 who's a lady or a gentleman, who's very, very respectful of herself, himself, or others, you know? They don't want just anybody. They want somebody that, that they can really, really rely on, talk to, somebody who can hold a conversation, who can speak up for herself. This male or female, they don't want a wimp, okay? They want, this, this person wants somebody who can really, really stand up for themselves, you know? And, they, and this is what they want. You definitely have to believe in God because we got the Herald and we got the Hermit. So this person is saying, "I'm looking for a wife that I can that I can marry that I can that I can spend the rest of my life with." Okay, but I want this person to to e to equally give and take in this relationship. I don't want somebody like I had in my past who gave very little, who who spoke very little, unless it was something shitty and nasty. I want somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, who's going to speak the truth to me, whether I like it or not. I want her, my queen, who can speak the truth to me and I can speak the truth with her without everybody's feelings getting all, all in a bother. You know, I want they want you to, to stand up for them because they want they this is what they want. They want their, their significant other, they want their soulmate, they want they want their dime piece, they want their help me. Okay. This is the person that wants their equal. Okay. They're tired of dealing with people who are not their equal. That's why they got rid of the person from their past. 
<clears throat> that's why that relationship ended so badly. It ended badly. It wasn't cute. It wasn't anything cute about this relationship. It was just a dark relationship, and they needed to come out of this darkness. And they felt felt the only way for them to come out of this darkness is to, is to light the fire and and, and 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 eradicate that energy. Okay, that's why. That's why this person is looking for their equal. This person that they were with were not their equal, and that person who they were with was not was not your person's equal. Okay, Every, everybody has somebody. You know, everybody has something. Somebody. They look into the life of your soulmate. They look into the life of your soulmate. I tried to do this reading earlier, like I said, but the sound was was messed up. So I'm hoping we got it fixed. We have the, the King of Wands here, strong person, and we have the Knight of Swords, and we have here the Hermit card. Okay. Overall energy, we have the Seven of Pentacles. This person is saying, well. I'm concentrating on my life, getting things together, fixing myself, all the different ele elements of my life that aren't tweaked like I would like for them to be. I'm working on, I'm cutting out of people, places and situations that don't concern me, that don't concern me. And I'm stepping in hermit mode to make sure I got everybody out of my life who didn't belong there. Really, really fur furrowed brows thinking like, did I get rid of everybody? That no longer serves me because I don't want anybody in my life who, who isn't at a higher level than I am. If you're not up there at, at the same level with me, then I don't need you. You can't be one step below me. You can't be five steps ahead of me. We got to be at the same place at the same exact time or I'm done. I ain't having it. That kind of stuff. This person is looking for their equal, period. They're looking for their number five and you're number five. They don't want... 4.5. They don't want 5.5. You're 5, they're 5, and everything else going to work out just fine. Okay? Not to say that you can't be the perfect 10. You can. But if that's a, if I'm a perfect 10 damn well, you got to be a perfect 10 too. Period. And that's, I'm speaking on energy levels. Not beauty or money or anything. I'm talking about energy levels. If you get the energy level is what I'm talking about. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay? They want to be at the same energy vibration at, of you at the exact same time. Okay? Kind of like the stars are lining themselves up perfectly right next to each other for me and you. Soulmate and you. Okay? Got the page of wands that keeps wanting to pop out here. Okay? This person who they broke up with will come back uh, with, like, with a, a tail with their tail between their legs trying to make up, make, make up, make things better, make things work. What can we work? I know that I messed up. I wasn't good enough for you. I was stepping on you. And I'm sorry, I apologize. That kind of, no, I'm done. Actually, I see something, but let me find the sun card so y'all can see what I'm, I'm seeing. All right, give me the sun card. Why well, I said that they're step your your person's your soulmate's person uh, realized that they stepped on your person's son. Okay, this is a message for you. Hmm. You see that right there? It looks like they're stepping on the sun. Okay, you see that compared to this here? They realized that they were stepping on your person's sun. You see that under their foot? That looks like the sun. Okay. And, and your, your person is saying, well, you stepped on my sun, but you didn't stop it from shining because I'm, I'm going to regrow. I'm going to redo. I'm going to revamp. Okay. It's like they realized they stepped on your person's sun, but it's a little bit too, a little bit too late. Your sun your person's shine, sun is shining somewhere else, okay? Their sun is shining somewhere else, okay? Yeah, they stepped on your person's sun, but they didn't realize that your person's sun is headed somewhere else, okay? Hmm. What's going on here? The devil card. This person is 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 may try to to, to do some tricks, trickery to get this person back, or or I kind of like. They won't leave your person alone. Your person may have to take some action, legal action, to keep this person out of their life and out of their space. Because what part of no, Dr. the hell you mean? Don't try to come back now. It's too late, you know? They probably caused a fire anyway. Burn, burn their house down or something. See? Tower. It's all around them. You know, that this is the kind of person that's going to try everything they can to get this person back. Communication, fast communication. I don't care if it's texting, 
knocking at the door, stopping by the job, stopping at the mother's house or whatever. They're going to try their best to come and spill their guts. I care about you. I still have feelings for you. Why can we talk? Would you listen to what I have to say? Please give me another chance. No, they're, they're, they're uh, kind of like, um, uh, and they want to work it out. Can we work things out again? Okay. I want to be happy with you. Nobody else can make me happy like you, Luke, or, or whoever, you know, but kind of like um, fatal attraction. We got the two of wands here. You know, they're trying to figure, definitely trying to figure out a way to get back in with your person and what to say to this person. That you, your person means the world to this person, but it's a little bit too late because the person has already stepped on their son. That kind of stuff. You know, it's going to be hard getting, getting rid of this person. And your person may have to get file a, a restraining order on this on this person uh, to get them back. Okay, give me more messages on your person's state of mind right now. Your soulmate. What is their state of mind right now after this this debacle? What's on your person's mind right now? Friendship. They want they want friendship. You know, I understand that a, a friend is in my life for a reason, and this is a situation to like I said earlier if. You knew somebody from your childhood. They just came back in town. Y'all hooked up together. Something special is going to bloom from that friendship. Okay. We got failure here. Okay. And then we have broken heart. So, so this your person or either you are, are coming into this friendship saying, well, I fell at a relationship. I had a broken heart. And this is why you all are going to start talking to each other. Why you all are going to start knowing, getting to know each other on a more intimate level. This is when... The fate, fate is going to align you two up, the energy of you two up perfectly. And then you're going to realize, boom, damn, that's the one right there. She's always been, he's always been in my sight, but I left him behind when I left town or something like that. Or y'all broke up and didn't get back together. Or this is somebody brand new. Okay. And we have here indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. This friendship I like this. I like how you make me feel. I like how you conversate. You can hold a conversation with me. A 50-50 conversation. We can be sitting there and you can, all of a sudden you can turn up a, up, up, a, up a beer can just like I can. You know, not saying that that's, that's not being feminine or whatever. But this person likes the cool in you. Huh, you hear me? This person likes the cool in you. That you can sit back and you don't have to worry about getting your makeup all willy-washy over your face or anything like that. They like you for who you are. They want you to stand up for yourself too. Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Okay. We all know that we fail here and there. And that's another issue that you are maybe just, you know, just sitting down having conversations about asking you about how family members are uh, talking about people in your family who are ill or not feeling whatever. You all are going to get to know each other by talking things, just talking, you know, what is this broken heart about? How is your person feeling right now? And we have forgiveness. He's the, he or she will probably say, well, I know I need to forgive this person who hurt me. They cheat me. They burn my house down. They, they follow me up around even now. I had to pull out, get a restraining order on this person because this person didn't know how to leave me alone. And I'm just tired of it, you know? So they're going, you're going to get to learn a lot from this person, from talking to this person. We have pride, perseverance. And denial. Okay, this person loves themselves, and I love, and I see myself in everyone. Uh, this person may not have ever told you, if this is someone from the past, that they really had a crush on you when they were little. You all are just getting to know each other. Okay, his his or her pride won't let them because they they're dealing with a broken heart right now, and and they feel well, I don't want to be shot down, so I'm not going to do this. But I think that they they will feel gifts like, damn, I come out and tell her how I felt. I was there with her half the night watching TV. Watching old shows, watching old old episodes of, of three, the Three Stooges, um, or watching old episodes of, of whatever it was that you were watching. They feel guilty by not telling you or something about Saturday Night Live. Maybe you just watch this person, watch shows like Saturday Night Live, Saturday Night Shocker. Um, all of those good shows that they used to come on, like Twilight Zone or um, something else. Um, Factory? Factory something. Scary movies and, and stuff. Um, what was it? Um, I hate. I'm, I, I get downloads, but I don't always get the gist of them. Um, anyway, watching all of these 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 shows from back in the day, just having a good time together, just being kicking and friends, kick, being good friends together, growing up together. Okay, and they're feeling guilty about about not telling you how they feel about you. Okay. 
And then something too about Crypt, the Crypt, the Crypt Keeper. Was that it? Um, just watching a bunch of, of, of old time shows that you don't see too much on anymore. We have abundance and we have freedom. This person is, is abundant in a lot of different ways except love. Except holding down a good relationship with somebody. They're wanting and they're manifesting a soulmate. Okay. And we have success here at the bottom of the deck. So whatever this person chose to do, uh, they're, they're a success in their, in their life. Whatever they chose to do. Very, very successful. And they're proud of it. Making money. Okay. A limitless being and can manifest whatever I desire into physical reality except love. Everything else is, is cohesive for this person, okay? And we have here humor, regret, and service. This person, um, kind of like, they're kind of like a busy person, so they probably don't laugh a lot, and but but they know that they need to. It's a lot, this person has a lot of regrets in their life, okay? Things that they, that they, that they never did that they wanted to. For one, regret not telling you how they felt about you years ago. Okay, they liked how you served others and spent time with others and they watched you and, and watch you do certain things in your life now. Okay, and say, well, I remember you used to do this. Or I remember you used to do that. You know, if you sit here and you tell your person that, that you, you turned out to be a, 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 a nurse or something or, or do something to help others. I've, I've, I've always known that about you. I've always known that you like helping others. But what about yourself? You know, having conversations uh, with your person about about that. You know, they they want to remember how good you really were. Okay, and regret not telling you how they felt. Give me one message here for the soulmate, the life of your soulmate, how they feel about you, or how they will feel about you. If this is somebody brand new, the same same thing applies. If this is something brand new for you, if you've never met this person, you all just want to sit down and start a friendship together, and everything else just going to fall into place. Okay. And we have the wheel. Okay. We have moving forward. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Swords. This is going to be a blessed relationship. We have the, the wheel card, the Ten of Pentacles, a happy family, successful, abundant family. And we have the Ace of Swords. This is coming from heaven. Hold on. The King of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands, the Hierophant card. Ooh. Okay, mm, mm, mm. and and after all, after we go through all this, he's going to be or she's going to have already defeated that person who wants to come back from the past. This person who's a stalker, you know, who's causing ha havoc in their life. That's going to be over and done with because your person here and you, your soulmate, this is going to be a happy family. Uh, this is going to be a happy family, and both of you all are manifesting each other. Remember what I said earlier about things happening. Uh, energetically at the same exact time it can't be five and 5.5 or 4.0 oh, it has to be the exact same time and look the exact same time I'm sorry I'm using a new program so I'm kind of getting used to it but you see everything is happening at the exact same time lightning strikes lightning everything at the exact same time y'all are headed to the place you all are headed to each other your soulmate and you are headed to each other at the exact same time the precise moment okay right on time right on time okay and this person already knows when he when he left that past behind when he got on or she got on that that boat with the six of the swords they already knew they were going to a new path okay and what they they said well i've been stuck long enough i got my new path i'm financially okay not stable but i'm okay we're gonna have some issues don't worry about that but we still blessed we're gonna do it together okay They've been stuck somewhere so long, anchored in a situation they no longer want to be in. And they know, I got to find my queen. I got to find my queen because I am the emperor. I know who I want. I know what I want. I want happiness. I want love. I want marriage. I want my soulmate. I want God to bless me with my soulmate. And here, when it's time is right for both of you at the exact same moment in time, it's going to happen. But it has to be the right moment. It has to be precise. Not half, nothing, but it has to be precise, okay? I hope this message resonates with you all. Thank you so, so much. And uh, if you're interested, the sale for the information is below. And don't forget you all to like, subscribe, and share. I'll talk to you soon.